Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be doing another suit review. This time I'm reviewing the J. Crew Ludlow suit in navy worsted wool. This is an excellent suit. This is one of my favorite suits actually, the worsted wool, um, mainly because it is a four season fabric. Uh, so what that means is that you can wear this year round. It's appropriate to, to wear year round. And this is really one of the first suits I should have bought instead. This was about the 20th suit that I bought, which was kind of dumb. But part of the reason being, I'll get to that in a second. Part of the reason being was I had other suits that fit that slot or that bill already. So I couldn't really just afford to go out and buy this one when I had another suit that was very comparable. So anyways, if I were to go back and do things all over again, I would start, if I were just to, if I had no suits in my closet, I would have started with the J. Crew Ludlow suit. I would have gotten two. One being the the charcoal or the dark gray worsted wool, and the other would have been the navy worsted wool. Uh, the worsted wool is just a, an outstanding fabric, and I wish I discovered it sooner, mainly because, like I said, I started with other suits, and they were nowhere nearly as good or as versatile as these suits are. First off, uh, navy is a staple suit color you need that to be either your first or your second suit. So it's either charcoal or navy. After that, that's when you can start getting creative. But you don't go out and buy a seersucker or pinstripe for your first suit. No, you want it to be a as versatile as possible when you're starting out. Like I was talking about, this is a this is a four season fabric. You can wear this in the summer, in the spring, you can wear it in the fall and the winter. It's warm enough to where it will deflect you know, those cold winds in the winter time. It's light enough, just light enough, to be able to be worn in the hot summer months. Um, so if I were to wear this in the winter, which I do, I would just throw a top coat over it and it's fine. Or if I were to wear this in the summer, I would just wear a more breathable tie, you know, like right here, this is a linen tie, um, and a nice breathable cotton shirt, and it's fine, just wear it open like this. So it is really just a versatile suit. And I, like I said, I wish I started with this one. But anyways, all is 2020 in hindsight. Anyways, what I did start with was I bought my first four or five suits from Banana Republic. And those were really good suits. They, they fit really well. Probably the biggest problem was the sizing. I accidentally started purchasing 38 short jackets because that's all they carried in the store. It wasn't until I tried on a 36 short jacket in a J. Crew that I almost cried by how perfectly it fit. I realized at that moment that I never needed to visit another tailor to get my jacket altered again. I just had to buy a size down. <laughs> so I was saving huge amounts of money on tailoring and I knew that it would just fit, you know, perfectly off the rack. Boom. Just a perfect jacket. So I ended up selling off those Banana Republic suits mostly because of the sizing issue. Now the other thing that I'd like to say about those wool suits that I bought from Banana Republic is they were not good for wearing in the winter time. When I'd be outside in the winter time and even though it was a, a wool suit it wasn't thick enough so when the wind blew I would feel it. It was basically like not having any clothes on at all. It was awful. So that's why this worsted wool from the Telenio mill in Italy is ideal. It's just light enough and just heavy enough to be worn all the time. Wear it in the rain, in the sun, in the snow, anything. This is the most, like I said, the most versatile. It also has a really nice character and I'll get up close so that you can sort of examine the character that it has, but this is just, this is not just a flat navy character. This worsted wool is it's got all kinds of, you can see heathering in the, in the weave. You can see, you know, some flex, some inconsistencies in the color just due to the dye process. This isn't a, just a uniform, just a flat color. This is, this is a suit that the closer you get to it, you realize, oh, this has a lot going on. This is actually an interesting fabric to look at. All right, here's a close-up of the jacket. This is what I'm talking about with the character. You can see the heathering, sort of that crisscross weave going on. We got a notch lapel here, two and a half inch wide lapel, slim enough. Two button enclosure. It's 
fully lined with Bemberg lining on the inside. We got a 36 short J. Crew Ludlow suit. Made it assembled in China, but sourced from Italy. There's my tie bar there from the tiebar.com. 15 bucks, not a bad deal. This is my favorite part about Ludlow suits. I know a lot of other brands do this, but including that that patch from the mill, family name, Telenio. All right, so now we got pocket square. See, I'm glad the sun's not too harsh right now. You can kind of get a good feel for the, the fabric. Down here, this is, this is something that I messed up on. The bottom button of the vest, yeah, you leave that open. It looks really dumb when you try to button it. Pants. Sporting my new Grant Stones. These are Grant Stone B grades. Got them on sale. Ivory suede, very nice. The Ludlow pants have a nice slim fit, but not too slim. They're definitely not skinny. There's definitely a lot of drape, room to drape around in there. This is what I like about J. Crew is that ever since I started buying the Ludlow suit five years ago, they've offered this worsted wool suit. They continuously keep the navy and the charcoal stocked. So, because of that, I was able to hold out on buying this and wait for a sale. That was good because, like I said, this wasn't a suit that I necessarily needed, it was just a suit that I wanted. And so for that reason, I had the luxury of holding out and waiting to see if any of the pieces would go on sale because they sell suits separate and they did eventually go on sale and I was able to score a lot of the pieces of the overall suit. Uh, significantly reduced. For example, I think I got this jacket about 40% off. The entire suit, the jacket with the pants, the pants are 225, the jacket, yeah, about 425. So the total overall suit would run you about 650. Now that is a good deal, and I'm gonna talk about why that is. Is it's because if you were to go to any other menswear store and buy a suit in worsted wool from the Telenio mill in Italy, you're gonna, you can end up paying double or triple that. J. Crew is delivering, in my opinion, one of the best bangs for your bucks in terms of the quality of the suit. If you know your size and it fits you like a glove, like this, then you are getting a hell of a deal even if you pay full price. 650 for this, this will run you $1,500 if you go to a bespoke suit maker or if you go to a more expensive men's shop. $650 is not a big price to pay. Now, like I said, I got some of these pieces on sale, knocked the price down even further, which is just a tremendous deal. Never in the history of mankind have you been able to get a suit this good quality that looks this good at such a low asking price point. If I had to start from scratch with my suit collection, this would have been the first or the second suit that I bought. I also got a vest with this and um, I'm gonna actually show the vest. I'm gonna throw the vest on with this. Now, I didn't wear the vest today because it is, it's a 90 degree weather day and you know, I, I like to breathe, so. I, but in the winter time, that's when I started incorporating the vests into the ensemble. With the charcoal Ludlow worsted wool suit, I also ended up springing to get the vest. If you're gonna just have two suits, and like I said, if I had to start from scratch, I would just buy the full ensemble of the Ludlow suit in navy worsted wool and charcoal worsted wool. I'm talking pants, vest, and jacket, and you're done. Really, realistically, you've got 90% of situations covered. Now, that being said, I do have about 20 suits, and a lot of those are season specific. I've talked about this before, how I have my linen suits, I also have flannel suits, which are more for the fall and the winter. I have tweed suits, which are definitely for the winter, for the cold, cold weather. Um, and, you know, I talk about wanting to get seasonally specific with your suits, the more your collection increases, well, this is a suit that you start with. This is, so when you start looking to buy suits, you want to go for a four season suit. That's the big thing to look for. When it comes to suits, I did have a lot of trip ups, a lot of trial and error. Like I said, I bought the wrong size initially and I knew nothing about seasonally specific fabrics at all. Um, so the more you get into the sartorialist sort of discipline, you start realizing, okay, there are things that are just appropriate for the weather, appropriate for the situation. A lot of men's uh, menswear magazines, they talk about in what situations a suit would be appropriate, but the weather and the conditions outside are equally as appropriate, if not more. You really want to 
start getting a feel for what sort of environments and what sort of climates you want to wear certain fabrics in. And this is just one of those fabrics that fits fits the bill in almost every scenario. You could wear this to an interview, to a wedding, to a business meeting, whatever. So the jacket fits great, the pants fit really great. They're a slim fit without being skinny. So I've talked about this before too. The Ludlow suit really is a timeless fit. It's not too big, it's not boxy, and it's not too skinny. It's not skin tight. It is just the perfect dimensions to wear. If I look at pictures of myself wearing this suit 10, 15, 20 years from now, I'll never think that it looks dated. I'm never going to laugh at it because it's just a timeless look. And the importance of having a staple navy suit like this in your arsenal, ready to go for any situation. So anyways, you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, I post pictures of this suit a lot. Uh, my user tag is aerosurferlv. Uh, you can find me there. So I'll see you guys in my next video.